teaching your dog that paying attention to you is worthwhile, interesting, and very rewarding is the foundation to any training program. We want the dog to develop a habit of checking in, of paying attention to us. Only then will the dog be likely to respond to other cues like sit or down. To walk on leash without pulling will also rely on his focus on us. I'll also show you how you can increase your dog's reaction to his or her name while you're working on eye contact. We'll choose a quiet room in our house and start by simply showing our dog a treat that will quickly bring up to our eye level. As soon as the dog looks up to our eyes, we click and give her the treat. We'll repeat this sequence four to five times. Let's now teach our dog that he'll get the reward when he looks away from the treat into our eyes. The dog is now learning that looking at us is more rewarding than looking at the treat itself. It's the very first step to teach our dog to pay attention to us in the presence of something distracting. Now, your dog may not sit patiently at first like this young pup. If your dog tries to get to the treat in your hand, just make sure to keep it out of reach and patiently and calmly wait until your dog looks in your direction instead. Dogs need to experience a behavior in many different ways before they can generalize. Unless you repeat this routine from different positions, they may not understand that it also applies when you're standing up or when you're sitting on a chair. The more variations we can think of, the better. We often assume that the dog knows his name. This simple sequence will help strengthen the dog's response to his name. As he turns his head in your direction, just say his name. Here again, repetition will make the response stronger. Now that we've established the concept in a low distracting environment, we can start practicing in different places. We'll always make sure to gradually increase the level of distractions, as long as the dog is successful. The dog has been rewarded many times for paying attention to us. It's time to wait for her to offer the behavior on her own. As always, we'll start in a low distracting area and gradually increase the level of distractions. Just like we did before, we'll want to repeat this exercise while in different positions and in different environments. We'll keep practicing the simple behavior while very gradually increasing the level of distractions. We can do this in our backyard, in different rooms in our house, with or without other people present, and eventually take it out in the park. At this point, we'll just keep on adding variations of the behavior so that the dog learns that paying attention to us is always a rewarding thing to do, whether alone with us or in a group of dogs. Hello. We can be as creative as we want and also start adding duration by simply delaying the click very gradually. These simple exercises are the very first step to a successful training program. I hope you've enjoyed this video and most of all that you'll have a wonderful time working with your dog. For more information and training tips, visit mindfulguardians.com.